The question is, how can you get into the next 5x, 10x, 20x, or 100x meme coin? That's the question I ask myself. And although I trade memes and I talk about memes every single day on the live show and I talk about memes on my X account, it's very difficult for me to actually be in the trenches at all times. But I know someone who does understand and who is in the trenches, 024, and I brought him on, I had an interview with him, and I got all his tips and tricks for you. I hope you're gonna enjoy this. So Shajad, thank you so much for being here, bro. Thanks, bro. Nice to be here again. <laughs> truly appreciate it, truly appreciate it. Last time we met on the meme show on one of the Sundays, first of all, I was blown mm -hmm. away by how deeply you are in the trench. You are the trench. I said before we started this show, I said that you are the trench. Um, but also I've been following your content and I really wanna pick your brain on where do you think we headed? And also most importantly, how can someone really pick a coin, stand by it, and make you know a 5x, 10x, 20x, or even 100x in this coming leg up. Absolutely, yeah, and I'm excited to share that. But market conditions right now, they're as good as they're ever gonna be. <laughs> so if you're gonna get started, get on it ASAP. That's the first thing I would say. First thing I wanna ask you, do you think someone watching this didn't really deep dive into memes, didn't use Phantom, didn't use Dextrina, are they late or are they still able to make money? Um, I can show you an example uh, in a few minutes if you want to about a wallet I saw just launched a couple of days ago, traded six meme coins. One of them hit seven figures. Okay, but that can be like a, that can be a, an old time uh, opening a new wallet and whatnot. But like in general, if someone watching, you know, maybe maybe there is a retired guy, 60, 65, 70 years old, sitting here watching this. Do you think there is a chance realistically that they can still make money in memes? Yes. And it's probably a better time than ever to do it because the general market volume is so high that there are a lot of popcorns popping off every single day. Every single day I see 10Xs to 100Xs, literally every single day. So right now, yes, if you ask me in a year or two, I don't know, but right yeah, now sure. for sure. Yeah. We've got to capitalize on that. The other thing I wanted to ask you before we deep dive so people know you as well, I asked you, what do you think, 100K, not 100K, and you say, I don't care until memes run. So the question really is, are you are you only in the meme trenches or you don't even focus on anything else? I'm talking about fundamentals, layer ones, layer twos, like all that out of the out of the trash and we're focusing on memes this cycle? Yep. Yeah. So slowly, slowly, I'm navigated away from altcoins and everything else. And I'm fully, fully in meme coins because it's just it's quick, it's easy, fully liquid, and the pumps you get are much, much stronger than it was like all altcoins. And back in the previous cycle, the NFTs in the previous cycle, that's what we're seeing with meme coins this cycle. It is the cycle of meme coins. That's been established now. That's not for debate anymore. Cool. Let's jump into it. So first off, I wanted to pull this up. I don't know if you use any, I don't know if you use any uh, bubbles and, and see the bubbles, look at it. If you do, I want to know how you use it. But this is, we have Benta Bubbles. It's a complete free tool, free tool, but you can get these meme sections. So these are all the memes that we've seen. Memes are taking a beat today. Are you, have you traded any memes today or? Absolutely. So every single day I might trade between 10 and 20 memes. Not a day no, goes by it? that I haven't done that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, probably since like, I don't know, quarter three, quarter four last year. And I've actually shared the, the same bubbles uh, on my channel before, banter bubbles. So, hey, if you filter for memes, I prefer to filter for Solana meme coins only. And okay. then I like to play with the shorter time frames. So here I really like to play with the ones that are pumping today. And the ones so you go that today or, or you go hour or what, what do you do? Even hourly. Yeah, even hourly. Just to see what's popping off right now. And then that's where the research begins. This is one way. These bubbles are one way I've shown in my videos to find trending meme coins. There are other ways as well. This is one of the easy ones. Take the contract address, get onto deck screener and start looking at the chart and see what's going on. So you're saying, you're saying, I'm going to give you the mic as well. I'm going to give you the, the screen as well so you can guide us through. But you're saying just pop in here, take the take the, the coin market cap link, get the, the the address, just pop it in the deck screener and then go from there. Guide us through. How do you trade? Also, one, one, one more question before we deep dive into this. Are you, mm -hmm. are you taking the, ev so are you making money every single day of memes? Or that's like with trading that sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down and that's the volatility of the of the market. There's volatility for sure, but once you've been trading for a while and you get consistent, and because you're doing it over so many memes every single day, it averages out. So to be honest, it's rare now because the market's so good. It's rare now that I have a day when I'm significantly down. It's I'm more than likely small wins, big wins every single day now. 
I'm excited to make this happen. Let me bring up the screens. The stage is yours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put your deck screener up here. And uh, yeah. So this is chill, guy. This is a meme coin um, launched a few days ago. Oh, is and that enough, at this 465 is now? I saw this two days ago. It's 100 and something. 160, 150. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, it's literally, oh my God. when I first caught wind of it, it was at 40 million and it's literally just ran and it's already touched 500 and pulled back. Incredible. So this was showing on your banter bubbles just a few a few minutes ago when you were showing me as popping off. Now, I wouldn't get into this now, but this is an example of what we look at first. So we look at narratives and we look at what's, what's in play right now. What's the matter right now? Right now, it's t t TikTok meme coins. So this is one of the trending TikTok meme coins and it's called Chill Guy. And this is the first one meme. that got that got trending, wasn't it? Like that was when we kind of became or moved into this rotation of TikTok memes. Basically, yeah. This is the what you might call the OG. And it's it's a very good meme, but it's gonna spread like wildfire now because obviously you've got a whole social media platform where this is being shared and talked about, which is TikTok. So this is the one doing well. And the strategy here is once you find uh, a particular area or niche like this. So TikTok meme coins, where do you want to buy? There's a few different strategies when it comes to trading meme coins. And a lot of people watching this will be complete beginners. They might have only just heard about meme coins literally today or yesterday. So you should suddenly start showing them charts and stuff like that. And they, they don't know where to start with this. Yes. So first of all, you have to understand that meme coins, a lot of meme coins like this, they're launched on uh, pump.fun, which is a site where anybody could launch a meme coin for literally nothing, just uh, a little bit of one soul. And on there, um, the chance of rugs and scams are a lot less because it's a fair launch. Anybody can buy at the beginning and it's very easy to buy and sell meme coins now. And I'm going to talk about tools and software in just a minute. But the first step is identifying what type of trader you want to be. You can either go on to pump.fun and you can be very, very deep in the trenches and you could be looking at brand new coins launching and there's thousands of them launching every single day. And you can sit in there and try and find uh, the next winner. Or you can come onto deck screen and wait for them to trend and then you can buy in the region, which is here, one to five million or sub 10 million and then hope Just to hit said the that. right from so like, so like I, I genuinely think, as I told you in the very beginning, I'm not the big meme guy, but I do trade memes. And I, there was like 350,000 tokens launched on pump.fun the past seven days. I think that's kind of the number. It's almost impossible to get the right ones on pump.fun. Wouldn't you agree? It's very, very it's, difficult. It's extremely very difficult. difficult. And, 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 and it's very similar to me. So I'm, I'm obviously a trader as well. And it's very, very, very similar to me when people chase the 20x, 30x, 50x leverage positions rather than just take calculated risk, understand risk management and understand where you have to, you know, like where you have to a little bit ease off the position, where you have to scale into the position. So people going for the quick money on pump that fund 99.9% .9 of the time get rugged. What I see most of the time is that the best place to get in is exactly what you're saying around the million to five or even now what I'm thinking and I want to pick your brain later on this as well to actually buy the established one at around 50 mil and ride it to the 200, 250, 300 million. So what you're saying that 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 a one million when it hits radium, is that the best time to get in? Why is that? So not when it hits one million, it hits radium much earlier. So when it's only yeah. 70K market cap, but, but let me show you. So this is Bullex. This is one of the tools that I use for trading meme coins. And here they have a tab here called Pump Vision. So in here, you can find all of the new pump.fun launches and you can filter here. You can filter here by market cap. But to trade these, especially these brand new ones that are launching on the left-hand side every single few seconds is very difficult. You need a lot of tools to do this, a lot of experience. And most of these will go pretty much to zero. So if you're brand new, you don't actually, believe it or not, you don't have to mess about with this stuff if you don't want to. Once you get more experience, you can get into this. What's better is trading coins that are already established. So if you look in the third column here, it says graduated. Mm. Here you can add your own filters like minimum market cap. So I can put higher market caps here, like say 200,000 or something like that. What would Click be the apply. minimum for you? So what would be the minimum market cap that you say this is worth getting in, looking at it? So I could... I personally, I can trade different styles. So if I want to, I'll spend a few hours doing new ones. But the one I prefer and the one I recommend, especially for beginners, is don't mess about with anything less than, say, 
um, two or 300,000 in market cap. It has to be above that. And you mentioned 50 million. You're right. When they get established, then the chance, chances of them being picked up by whales and doing them uh, higher multiples is higher. Chance of them dumping is lower. However, your ROI is dropping. So of it gets course. to a point where it's not worth the risk anymore because any meme coin over 10 million can correct 40, 50%. It doesn't matter if it's 200 million or 20 million. So if you're going to take that 40, 50% risk, if you think really think about it, it's only worth it if you're going to make the reward of 10x. Otherwise, there's no point in taking that risk. That's why so it's real going back to the principles of risk reward. So you're basically following the same principles of risk reward. I'm risking X amount, I'm risking one unit, and my m minimum that I want to gain from it is five unit, 10 unit, and the enough time I repeat it, overall, I'm going to be making money. Is that, that the same principle you follow as we that, trade in? That's simple as that. In fact, let me show you um, a, a recent tweet, and I want to show you this screenshot here, because it is really interesting, this one. So this is a wallet that... I found that just started trading a week ago. I don't know if this is somebody's new wallet or if it's somebody new to trade in meme coins. Note that it could, there is potential, it could be something new because I checked related wallets, there's not much going on. This could be a brand new meme coin. Why would it not be? Because just after Trump um, won the election, we got a lot of new inflows into crypto. Yes. A lot of new inflows, especially meme coins as well. This could be the beginning stages of what we call retail coming in. So if this is a fresh wallet, and it's a whale, somebody who has six figures already, doesn't mind putting 10 or 20 grand in a coin. Have a look at this. They invested around the same amount in just six coins over the last week. That's all, just six. Two coins, they invested 20, 30 grand. They've lost nearly all of that. Two coins, they made small losses of 5,000. And then the fifth coin, Melon, they made a little bit. They've made a few grand. Sixth coin, Chill Guy, they put in 20 grand again. That's a million now, half a million unrealized half a million realized profits now absolutely there's an element of luck in all of this as well three days but 10 hours ago think, yeah literally but when you think about it in terms of risk reward think what this person was doing they know that if they put 20 20 20 in everything that's about one to five million one of them runs to hundreds of millions the other losses doesn't matter now you think about this but not putting 20 grand in each think about it but putting only 200 dollars in each or 2000 or whatever your budget might be. Or 20, be. or tw someone is watching it, or 20. Like people, we get a lot of people reach out who are like, okay, you're talking about thousands, but we don't have the cash. But this is what you're saying exactly, is that you can put in $5. That's the beauty of Solana, right? Phantom, and that's <laughs> the beauty of, of actually getting into these memes. You can put in literally $2, $5, $10, and that could be multiplied. The question really is, how do you get these? So this guy puts it in five. Let's assume that he's a complete beginner and he didn't know this. He didn't have inside information. How do you find these ones? So how do you find? And then the second question that really always comes up is that you have to be the part of the cabal to actually make money with memes. So like, how do you yeah. how do you find these as a complete beginner? Let's say you understand Dex Creator, you understand Pump that Front, you understand Phantom Wallet. We have all that on, on the channel as well. How do you find these? Sure. So let's say you've made the decision, you, you know a little about trading meme coins, how to buy and sell them. You have a tool, so hopefully you can link for them Bullex after we're finished here in the description below and they can use Bullex. It's a very, very good tool to use for buying and selling meme coins. So you've got everything ready and you funded your wallet with some Solana now and you're ready to buy. So how do we find them? One of the easiest ways, there's, there's two or three ways. One of them you actually already shared earlier in this recording. You shared using banter bubbles. That's a perfectly valid way to do it. Sometimes though, if there's something very, very low in market cap or very, very new, it may not always pick up there. However, more established ones certainly do. You can see, for example, you've got Chill Guy there and a few of the other ones showing there, they're well established, like Fartcoin, for example. But some of the new <laughs> ones might not pick up. Yes, so yes, absolutely. We, we, so we basically use Deck Screener. So we're back on Deck Screener and all we do, click on the logo on the homepage and we set up custom filters. Now, I'm assuming you've already made a decision as a, as a viewer here, you made a decision which blockchain you want to trade on. It doesn't matter as long as it's one of the ones that are uh, getting the most volume. I prefer Solana, but there's also Base and Ethereum. I personally would stay away from everything else because there's not enough volume to help pump these meme coins. So, But also it's very important example, to note, also it's very, very important to note for the beginners is that if you, 
decide to trade on ETH, which probably you're coming from 2021, remember, whatever, you feel safer on ETH, you're paying much, much, much higher fees. So it's, it's, it's almost impossible to, or it's not, not worth it to buy $5 worth of meme coins on ETH because you will pay $8 in fees. So it's very important to also, when you select the, the chain, to select the chain where, for example, with Solana, it's a fraction of the cost if you would uh, trade on ETH. And base obviously is almost zero fees, but you still have to onboard Bridge. It's a little bit more complicated at this stage than to just opening a Phantom Wallet. That's right. And just to add to that, there's more friction. Remember, ETH fees are a lot lower now. They're a lot lower than they were before. But absolutely, if, you, if you've got smaller amounts, Solana is still preferred. And also a lot of the best Telegram bots and other tools are linked to Solana now as well. So that's where basically, that's the trenches. That's where all the DGENs are trading pretty much. <laughs> and it's been like that actually for a while. I don't think it's going to change. So when we click here on the It's a dollar right, now. Now I see it's a dollar. It went down to a dollar per transaction. Yeah, but what is it in Solana? Yeah. It's like 0 0.002 dollars or something. <laughs> yeah, it's literally percentages of that. It's not even anything yeah. you have to worry about. To be honest, yeah, it's more of the fees are from using tools and software actually than Solana itself nowadays. Mm. So on here on filters, we click on all platforms and then select whichever one you want. So for me, it's nearly always Solana. So I click on Solana and I click save at the bottom. So that's that's our, um, uh, uh, basically, if we just even click apply here, you can see on the top how much volume there is in Solana meme coins 24 hours. 7.6 billion. That's a lot. That's more than enough volume to pump a few of the winners on Solana. Mm. Now, what we want to do when we're trading, because I, I remember I explained to you uh, earlier in the video, there's different styles of trading. You can be right in the trenches doing brand new shit coins, or you can do that medium level where it's 1 million, try and see if you can get up to 50 million. Or if you're a massive whale, because there's people with six figures watching this video as well, then you can look at more established coins. So that's where you are looking at what you've mentioned before, 50 to 100 million and above. Because you're not looking for 100 Xs, you're looking for comfortable, anywhere from two, three X to max five to 10 X. Exactly. No, you, you're looking for participation. You can't you can't buy into one of these 300,000 market cap or even a million market cap with $100,000. It's just not, you can't, you simply can't do it. That's exactly right. Yeah, there's not enough liquidity to do that, which is again, why I prefer the middle because there you can go in with a little bit of size if, if you, you know, you got experience and you're ready to do that. So in here, we can set the market cap. So we can set maximum minimum market cap What's really cool is you can set maximum minimum age as well. So for example, if I want to only look at what's just launched, what's going through a bit of a pump, what might be then doing his first ever dump where I could potentially get in, I want to set the maximum age to about eight hours. And I want to set the minimum pair age to at least an hour. I don't want anything that just hit radium like minutes ago because a lot of them, as I mentioned before, will fail. So I could put one there, for example. And minimum market cap, let's say you don't want to mess about with anything below 100K market cap. It has to be anything in that three, 400K range that potentially has already had a lot of volume. So you just type in here 300. And then I usually tend to put a maximum because then it just filters out a lot of these scam coins as well very easily because there's some coins that look like they've gone to billions already, even though they only launched minutes ago. So you can easily filter that out. You could put something here like, let's say 19 million. So we've got the oh, minimum. Go up to 19 million. Yeah, because believe it or not, some of these coins within minutes, legitimate coins run so hard that they can easily hit 14, come all the way back down to three, and that's your generational buying buying opportunity mm -hmm. right there, potentially. Because the, the, uh, the reason it does that, and I'll show you that on some charts in a minute, is because those initial people who got in early, they need to take their profits and get out. So that's the initial wave of profit taking. But that's where in lies your first dip buying opportunity. There's many dips along the way, but that first one is the one that might create the most ROI for most people. Guys, I just want to take a second and give a big shout out to our sponsors, Rivals. If you're making a lot of money on memes or you just simply want to diversify, AI Notes, which is an emerging narrative as well and could be very big, is a very great place to deploy. Now, everybody's talking about AI agents and how they will revolutionize everything that we know right now, but there is no infrastructure until now because Rivals is the one building an infrastructure for these AI agents, building based on five main models, data, connectivity, identity, resources, and application. They have an AI node that serves as the validator for the entire 
network. And by getting one of their validator nodes, you will be able to validate transactions on the network, on this entire infrastructure for AI agents. And by validating, you will be able to earn tokens. If you want to become a validator in an AI node project, and if you want exposure to the space, again, they could be a great opportunity. Make sure to check them out. There is a link in the description. Make sure to check the website, read the docs. And if you like what you see, and if you want to participate and become a validator, or if you want to run this AI node, if you decide to purchase one, you can get a 10% discount by using the link below. Incredible. So as we scroll down here, I usually just add minimum transactions as well in terms of volume. Again, it just it just filters out a lot of the scam coins as well. So you can put something like 500 here in terms of 24 hour transactions, but then I don't want to filter too much. I don't want to filter any more than that. So now if I just click apply, I start getting an idea of these new coins. And what I do is I sort by highest volume first because I want to know where's all the attention going? Where's all the interest? Show me those coins first because those are the ones potentially that could then run. And you can see some of them, they've had 20 million into them in volume, but they're sitting at lower market caps, anywhere between one and 5 million. This is our sweet spot. Many of these are not going to run. They're going to fail. It's for you to try and identify the ones that are going to run, not with 100% accuracy, but where the risk reward makes sense. We're traders. That's what we're doing. We're just identifying good opportunities to buy in. It's super interesting that you say that because a lot of times, you know, I'm 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 a trader on the not on the meme market specifically on the on the low cap meme market, but I'm on the markets, and it's very important that people don't understand that you don't you 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 when people say when you say for example that we're gonna go up most likely and the chart goes against you and people come back in the comments and they're like oh you got this wrong you don't understand people don't understand <laughs> that traders the whole idea behind trading is that you have an edge in the market and you play on probabilities. And a lot of times it will just not matter. I know traders who have 10%, you know, uh, hit rate, 10% win rate, 10 out of 10 times, only one time they are successful in their predictions, but their makeup for all their losses, exactly what you said as well, and they make much more profits. So it's like very important to understand that you play on the probabilities. And what you're setting up here is that you're setting yourself up for success but it's not a guaranteed success on each individual trade. And you have to look at it as a sum, which is pretty cool that you say that. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. It's all about, we're, we're just playing with probabilities. That's exactly what we're doing. And you're creating hey, your I'll edge here, basically. Mm -hmm. you're, you're creating yeah. your edge here. That's what you're doing. Yeah, and and for, for, for somebody new, what's really good here is some of these coins, because they've had millions of dollars go into them, these, these ones that I'm about to show you on the, our filters it takes a little bit of risk off from you as well, because you know it's not a complete scam if people have spent millions buying and selling these coins already in the last couple of hours. So again, it protects you a little bit as well compared to brand new pump fund launches that have only had like a few thousand dollars in volume, if that makes sense. Have you seen that guy uh, recently? I, this goes out in the weekend, but throughout the week, there was this uh, kid, 14-year-old kid, who launched this pump fund and then rugged and then he rugged for like thirty thousand dollars and then the token that he sold would have been worth four million and then what is funny about this guy is that actually the tokens would have been worth four million because of the story that he rugged so probably if he didn't rug the story wouldn't have made it people wouldn't have bought it uh, but it's just a fun funny thing that people like on pump that fund this is one of the very good examples on how you can simply get rugged by a fourteen year old but I want to know more about I want to know more about so how do you how do you set this whole thing up and how do we actually find these things? So now we have the filters. What are we looking yep. for? Sure, I'll show you that as well. And by the way, just on my Twitter profile, as well, you can link below. I was literally talking about that guy and some of the coins um, that that were involved with the with that guy's launch. Because there was a several, there's several beta plays. There was Quant, there was Rug Guy, and loads and loads of other coins. <laughs> some of which had millions in volume and actually ran really well. Ironically. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. So you said you, so, you have your filters. What do we do then? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do with some of these is we're going to open them into new tabs and start having a look at the charts and see what's going on. And I focus mainly on the charts and then we add in the socials too. We have a quick look at the socials and we see what's going on with these projects. Because this is the other tricky part. Some of them, the devs are still involved. Some of them, devs have sold. Some of the CTOs. So that's where it gets a little bit messy as well. So that's all part and parcel of your research. The good thing about these ones that we're going to talk about is there's no immediate rush to buy. Like you don't have to buy them within the next second and you're going to miss the pump, like deep in the trenches. These are more established. And obviously, like I said, you can go in with very small positions or larger positions as well. So any of these coins, when we're looking at the charts, this is typical of a lot of pump fund launches. 
a lot of the better ones, they have these runs and they usually reach round number targets or just under round numbers. So they usually reach 10 millions, 5 millions, and they have deep pullbacks. And that's what I call that first wave ending. And then that first set of profit taking hit. And these areas are the dip buying opportunities for only some coins. Our job as traders is to learn about mean coin trading, practice, and try and identify the best coins for that initial dip in this kind of mid, mid cap strategy. That's what we're doing here. So now what I can do is I can click on the Twitter, find out more about this particular project. So you can see it's a pumped up fund coin. It's got pumped there at the end as well. You could confirm contract address on uh, on deck screen as well. And what I'm doing is I'm having a look through and I'm just seeing, is this an interesting meme? Is this something that fits current narrative at the moment? Is something a little bit different? That's what I'm trying to identify. And these are the things that you need to do. This is part of the uh, research, the research of the socials. And you don't only have to search for the official Twitter. If you go down here on deck screener, if you scroll on the right and it clicks, click here where it says search on Twitter, search for the contract address on Twitter. You can see other people talking about it. And what's useful here is somebody might have done some good research on this coin and summarized it here. And especially if you're brand new, you can have a look through that and just see why people are talking about this coin. Sometimes it's linked to a massive influencer, it's linked to a massive Instagram or TikTok account. You won't know all of this stuff. This is part of your research. It doesn't take long. Spend a few minutes researching the coin, make a few notes, and then decide, is this a meme that has some legs? Because just because it's had 22 million already in trading doesn't mean it's going to make it. How do you but, decide that? That's the real question though. So I look at this, for example, and I go like, okay, so this is, I, I did done all this. I filtered, I went down, I looked through Twitter. Why do I buy, obviously for anyone watching, we're not affiliated with this. So I'm definitely not affiliated with this token. We don't know what it is. So don't just ape in. But like, mm -hmm. why do you buy this and not buy the other 287 tokens that are listed below that? Sure. Um. Uh, by the way, there's not actually that many. Once you add those filters and that time frame, it's it's not like hundreds. So you're more picking mm. out of the tens of tokens, and there'll still be okay. obviously a few scam ones in there. But at at some level, you don't know for hundred percent sure. But you want to know if it fits the meta at the moment and fits the narrative. You want to know if it's something that's potentially memeable. It potentially could gain garner more attention. How is it different? How is it unique? That's what you're looking for. A lot of that, to be honest, comes with experience as well, but that's only half the battle here. Half the other battle is, are you buying in an area on the chart that actually makes sense from risk and reward? So if you look back at the charts here, this one, the way it dumped from 8 million all the way down, doesn't look like it's got a lot of confidence. Doesn't look like there was a lot of people dip buying here. However, when we look at this chart of Gritty, it looks a lot more uh, bullish in terms mm. of setup here. It looks like the volume is slowly increasing into it. So let's have a look at Gritty. So sometimes the chart gives you clues as to how strong this potentially could be um, as uh, a meme, uh, as an idea. And that's what we're looking for. Now, obviously, I haven't researched these, so I'm looking at these live with you right now, trying to make decisions about whether to go into these. But you have to remember, at the end of the day, even if you do invest in any of these, you'll never know for 100% sure we're still taking risk-reward because let's say this dip this runs to 10 million, dips to five, I can put a buy entry there at five and my stop loss could be at four. So I'm risking 20% there. And if this runs to 50 million, that's that's the risk reward we're playing with here. We're trying mm -hmm. to make a 10X and we're risking 20% of our position. How do you place your stop? So, I mean, not technically, because obviously it's like rather a mental stop, I believe, but how do you, how do you place your stop? How do you decide when you get in where is it that you cut it and you say, okay, this didn't work out? Sure. So nowadays it's not a mental stop at all. This is all literally stuff you can put into trading bots. And some of my best trades have actually been automated trades where overnight I've not been watching. I've set up my buy orders. It's spiked into my buy order and then ran. So okay. all we do here is we take the contract address. So next to Gritty, uh, you could just click on that icon there where it says copy. Go into Bullex. In the search box here, paste the pump fund address, click on there. This is where we do more analysis. That's the next step. So we've talked a little bit about socials. We've had a look at the chart, making sure it's still got a, a bit of a, a bullish potential. So it's a chart that's showing higher highs, higher lows. And this is where we can have a look at holders. This is the next step. So we click on holders here. What we want to have a look at here, I, this is 
more in-depth analysis, but it's very, very important. We want to make sure the top 10 holders aren't holding too much of this particular coin. 11% is okay. The other thing we want to look at here. What, sorry, what is not okay? When you say too much, is that 20%, 30%? So on top 10 holders, yeah, with established coins that are reached the millions, you, it shouldn't be anything like 30% or over. That'd be mm. way, way too high. But in, really what you want to do is you want to actually look at each individual holder here. Because sometimes some of these coins can be bundled, less so once they're established and they reach 1 million to 5 million, but it's still possible. So here, when I'm looking through, I can see the percentages that um, uh, different holders have of this. And sometimes I can see if the dev's still involved. Now, in this particular one, if you scroll all the way out, you might be able to see dev bought and sold. Can you see that there mm, at the beginning? Yes. So usually, <laughs> now nowadays, it's the opposite. Usually when the dev sells, especially early on, um, charts become very bullish afterwards because then it's fully community owned and we're not relying on the dev who may or may not update the socials. The community is just taken over. And those are the ones that tend to actually do the best nowadays. So notice that after dev sold, the price pumped even more, a lot more. Mm. And you can confirm here as well. You can have a look further down and confirm that the dev's actually out of the position as well. So you can go on to top traders here and you can actually check that. So these, this, this analysis of holders is very, very important. But when I look through here, the other thing I want to look at is, are loads and loads of wallets holding the exact same percentage, for example? That's a red yeah, flag. So it's are they all holding exactly right? 0.7? Yeah, yeah, basically. So, so they buy, what buy they've done is they, they distribute it into different wallets. That's the one, yeah. yeah. That's a method of bundling. There's a few different methods they use. And one of them is that, so they might split between 10 or 20 different wallets. The problem with that is then they, because everything's automated now, they can literally click sell all at the same time and suddenly 20% disappeared. You'll get a massive dump in the price. Mm. Yes. So these are things that you have to check. This is called holder analysis. So you'll spend a couple of minutes doing this. Not that difficult to do. And there are tools available to help you with this part as well. The tools for everything now. So what are what here, are your favorite just... tools? Let's let's talk a little bit about the tools as well because I wanna I wanna pick your brain on on the tool set. A lot of people know, and obviously we know Bullox, we know we know we know Dex Screener, we know Bird Eye, but I'm sure it's the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, it is. I mean, it gets very very deep here. So, for example, earlier on we talked about different strategies. You've got a few strategies in terms of buying. So you can buy fully trench, mid cap like I've shown you, or whale buying, which is hundred million and above. Three ways. But that's you buying. The other way you could do all of this is you could track a wallet. You could track a wallet that will give you uh, signals where they're buying if they've made good profit. I use Cielo for that, C-I-E-L-O for wallet tracking. And then from that, you can copy trade if you want to. I don't do that. I think it's a little bit dangerous as well. But if you're brand new and you want to have a go at that with a few soul, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I've heard people do all right copy trading too. But remember, copy trading is a whole other strategy. The only challenge with copy trading is that you have to find a wallet. You have to find what wallet to copy. You have to analyze that wallet. And then obviously, if everybody knows about that wallet, probably the, the information is not as valuable. That's right. And then the other problem is that particular trader, when they realize they're getting copied a bit, they'll just change wallets and wallets yes. again and again. And yes. I see that trending a lot on YouTube, actually. A lot of people talk about tracking wallets and just copy trading and stuff like that. That's okay. You might make a little bit. You're not going to make massive figures in meme coins in this cycle unless you do the proper way. Where unfortunately, you have to be a little bit less lazy with this. I wish I could just click a bot button, trading just happens automatically, and I just make six, seven figures. It's you know, it's better, but life is not that nice, unfortunately. It's never, it's never, and easy money is never the way. Easy money is never the way. You no. got to put in the work. So now, now that we've yeah. done the whole no. analysis, what is next? Yeah. So, so we're safe from the whole analysis. So what's really cool here is. If you look on the right side, we've got buy and sell set up here. What we can do if we wanted to, again, this is an, a, a next level. So when you're a brand new beginner, it's better you just buy and sell and you just keep an eye on the charts. So you can easily buy and sell here any amount. So one sold, you can buy here right now. Easy. Limit here. If you see where it says limit, we can actually set automated buys and automated sells at any market cap. So we can actually set up stop losses here as well. This is very, very powerful. And this is how a lot of the professional traders, like me and many hundreds of thousands of others, that's how we trade. Because we can't watch our position all day and all night. And that's why I said earlier, some of my best trades are, I've seen a, a coin trending 
I'm guessing where abouts I want to buy the dip. But one thing I will never do as a meme coin trader, I made this mistake and a lot of the people watching will make this mistake. We don't top last, especially these smaller coins. Never buy highs. That's called top last. Always blasting. buy low, sell high. Always buy low, sell high. Yeah, but especially on meme coins because if you even if you think, oh, it's just going in a straight line, look, even in a straight line, they always have pullbacks of 40 to 60%. 40 to 60%. And mm. a lot of meme coins, when you've seen enough charts, you'll see that they run to the same levels. Like this is running to 10. You can see here. And it's going to get the same pullbacks. This, if it pulls back deep, will run to three. If it's extremely bullish, it'll run to about five and a half, six. Because it's 40%. So you put in two orders and you cut 70%. it below three. Yeah. So the two ways you could do it, you can wait for it manually to come down. So let me just get onto one minute one so you can see the candles. So you can wait for it to manually pull back it. And then you can see on the candles, it's pulling back. So I'm watching this live. I'm seeing it pull back. So it's been running really well. What's happened here? Profit taking. Like I've explained before, this is expected. So if you're experienced, you're expecting this pullback. Now, if you think the memes got a little bit of legs, it's risk reward here. You wait for it to dip. You wait for the tide to turn and you either buy at a level automated or you wait for it to pump first pull back higher low and you get in here. So you get in hopefully three to four million. I would be buying this. And then it's just risk reward. It may just dump. But because the coins had so much volume, so many of them traders might be buying the dips themselves. So many new people are first hearing about this coin. It has a good chance. Good chance. I, don't, I can't tell you the exact probability. Maybe... 20 to 30 percent chance from here dipping and then running again so how much if it are you run, are you marrying these memes or are you it's an in and out play for you at all times you have the risk reward you take 100 percent profit at one to ten and you're out or you or you keep some you 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 try to catch the you know the 10 what is it the 20 30 50 x's 100 x's how do you go about it great question and i'll be really honest with you here um a lot of people I see, a lot of influence as well, they talk a lot about conviction and holding for the long term. And believing in it something. Just makes sense. <laughs> yeah, believing in something. It, do the maths, it makes zero sense. Because let me show you. So uh, I have loads and loads of watch lists on Deck Screener. And some of these are older coins. So if I click on some of these older AI ones, these, some of them are still doing okay, but a lot of them are way lower. But because that's, this was trending two, three weeks ago, it's not trending right now. So if you're bag holding in these, there's a few problems here. One is you're locking up your soul in older coins that are not pumping anymore. And number two, because they don't have the attention and narrative, they're slowly going to bleed further down. You're much mm. better off rotating and doing the shiny new thing because probability states that it's in your favor. You're going to get the pumps and you always want to be just riding the pumps. So the professional meme coin traders, that's what they do. They just jump in narrative to narrative. And you shouldn't have any problem doing that because it's so easy now with tools to buy. You click a button, you sell. Why you want to become obsessed by one particular meme coin? There's no need. I think there is a very big uh, difference and uh, a lot of people disregard the difference between trading and investing, right? So if you are looking at the Murat talk, right? And believe in something, if you think, you know, obviously if you find the means, but these are not the memes that you find at 200,000, 300,000 market cap, a million market cap. And these are rather the ones that you find multiple hundred millions of market caps where you see that this is established, where you see where this might be heading and you want to put some money, you want to put some serious money. We're talking, you know, maybe depending on who, what, what is serious for who, but you might want to put in 50,000, $60,000 into a meme and you want to ride it for three to five X in this, in this cycle to still be exposed, but still be able to deploy decent capital, those would be the ones. But a lot of times what people mix up is exactly what we, just, what we just talked about, is that they believe that they have to believe in something, they keep it and they round trip it. And I hear this every single day. People get the right entries, they make 10x, they make 15x, and then just to ride it back down. How do you take profits? Do you do it because you understand the game and you take it one to 10 or one to five and you layer out and you, how do you go about taking profits in a position? Sure. Yeah. Let me show you that. And just before on this screen, I'm going to show you very quickly PopCat. And this was a, a post I made on Twitter recently. This uh, meme coin is amazing. It's massive. The top holders, they're legends. Like uh, ama amazing meme coin. It's the story of the, one of the stories of this cycle for cat coins. But if you're new or even established meme coin trader, there's literally no reason you should be in this at all. This has not moved 
in a month and a half. And I'm telling you, every single day you're seeing 10Xs and 20Xs and stuff like that. So if you were bought into this, you'll be basically stuck here doing nothing, which is actually more of a crime than sometimes round tripping <laughs> because you're not putting your bags to work. If something's at 2 billion in market cap, the absolute best case is maybe a 2X. And that's by the end of the cycle. So that's yes. months down the road. Yes. So if you're in this, in these massive market cap coins and you only put like a few hundred or a few thousand dollars in Seoul, then you really need to rethink your strategy because this is you might not be, how you, you might be putting it on AR, you might be putting it in Solana, you might be putting it on any layer two, any other normal normal utility yeah. protocol as well. If, if you do that, you're not really meme coin degening. All right, no. we're coming so, to the end profits. of the show, but I want to, I want to, I want, I wanted to, uh, let's do the profits. Yes, let's do the profits because that's very, very important for the community. Very, very quickly. So when we're looking at these, so let's look at Gritty, which we just talked about before. Again, you want to look at levels where there's often profit taking. So if I was in this earlier, I would be putting automatic sell orders or I would be putting uh, live sell orders using Bullex, for example, at just below 10, not 10 exactly. I would put it at 9.2. 9.4 and I would take out 30% of my position, 50% of my position because I know that there's going to be a pullback there regardless. 20 million, same thing. There's going to be a pullback there regardless. 50 million, same thing, pullback regardless. 100 million, same thing, regardless. Do you and get the way back you learn in more about after selling? Do you no. get back in? No. No, no, you sell some of your position, so you're still in. No, no, but I mean, do you get back in with the 30%? So you sell 30%, there is a 40% dip. Do you get back in on that position? Or if you're out 30%, you're out 30%. Usually, uh, so again, if you're more experienced, you can you can buy back in. But if you're new, I highly recommend not DCAing into position, positions and not buying back into positions. It gets a lot of people wrecked, especially mm. when there's a downtrend. What happens is people buy in, it dips more, and they're like, well, let me just buy more and more. Yes. Can't do that with meme coins because most of them are going to go down to nothing. So that is a really bad strategy with meme coins. Again, if you're only very experienced and it's a meme coin that's in the 50 million, 100 million, and you know what you're doing, you might buy more at a 50 million support because you know there's going to be a good bounce there. I do it all the time. Or I might buy a fresh position there. Do that all the time too. But be very clear if you're new and your meme coin's going down, one of the worst things you can do is buy more. Better it's manage the, the dip. position, take losses. <laughs> Yeah. It's by the dip. The worst thing you can do. All right, let's run. Let's run through this so as a, as a summary for everybody, and then we can do this again uh, on another time. But I really want to run through so everybody can understand the summary of what we've done. So first thing we did, we filtered on. First of all, we filtered on Benta bubbles, right? So we went on here. We yes. filtered on Benta bubbles, which is, by the way, I don't know if you you, you said that you talked about Benta bubbles. We have a, a win a Bitcoin thing. So literally, if you just use our affiliate links, there's a link in the description. You can guess the price of Bitcoin in January, and you can win a Bitcoin. Did, did you did you ever do this guessing? It's so hard to guess. I don't even know if you ask me, but yeah, I, I'm curious to see where it'd be in January. It could be anything. It could be 150. It could be yeah. 70. You don't know. <laughs> you know, the weird thing is about this is that we really, we really are about trying to trying to help people. You know, the community make money. Literally, that's the the biggest point. It's exactly what we're doing it here right now. And so with Benta Bubbles, you're using it anyway. If you, you have five different exchange accounts, you can just come in here and you can click on Ready. You can simply put in a prediction. And you can win a whole, a whole Bitcoin if you fulfill it. So it's, it's actually quite cool. But anyway, we come in here and we guess, uh, we, we see what, we, we guess the price of Bitcoin and then we see what coins are trending. Then we go back to Dex Screener. Then we set our filters. Yeah. What are our main filters that we're looking at? Yeah. So like I said, there's a few, but if you're looking at brand new coins, what you're looking for there is you're looking for lower pair age. So anything up to eight, eight hours from one hour. Market cap anywhere from let's say 100, 200,000 all the way up to about 19 million. That's the kind of sweet spot there for new coins that are becoming a little bit more mainstream, a little bit more established. So if you're a mid cap trader, that's what you'd be looking for. Incredible. And then once we got that, we look at the chart, we're waiting for round numbers. So we're looking for a million, 5 million, 10 million. And once we have a 40% pullback from any of these round numbers, we can start either layering in or getting out. The one thing that we haven't really touched up on is when do you cut a position? Sorry, what was that? When do you when do get you out cut a position? Yes. Yeah, so let's say that we let's say that I identify a chart. Let's say I think this is a great idea to get into this position because because this could be great. 
where is it if you go back to greedy for example as we discussed if you go back there yeah. and you look at it where would you start cutting that and say hey this didn't work out so let's have a look uh, this is a coin that ran today uh, one i'm involved with uh, for example this one this is called weight again trend trending coins it's right up 100 percent today no or something like that it's, yeah it's, it's up a lot and if you look from yesterday where it was at nothing same sweet spot like that one to five million mark and now it's already at 60 and still running oh my very God. strong incredible and this one is same thing look at the volume coming in below volume ever increasing but you're looking at the round numbers and at round numbers that's where we take profits at 50 but we always leave some of our position so as a professional meme coin trader what you're doing is you're taking cells at all of these levels. You're taking little bits of cells as we go up because we don't know where the eventual top will be. But we the question is, what if it doesn't get to the sell? The question is, what if I buy 2 million? What if I buy a yep. million and it just goes down? It goes 800,000, it goes 500,000. Where do you cut oh. your position? So me as a trader, if I look at a chart, yep. I have a clear structural point. I say, if we get here, either as a mental stop or a, a proper stop, limit stop, how do you yep. identify that it didn't work out? No problem. Again, relatively easy. So a few ways to do it. So look at any peak where it's run. So any peak. And then what you're looking for in a larger time frame is, is it making consistent lower highs? So this is a lower high here. If it makes another lower low, you can say that the trend's changed. That's one way. Another way, from the peak, if it dips below 61%, which is a very important sib, uh, fib level, you can put an automated stop loss. That's number two. Number three, Put your stop just before or mental stop below psychological level. Look at this one, 5 million. What did it do exactly? Bounce and run. What happens if it comes to 4.8? I'm out of the position. Keep it simple. So use these. Uh, I share a lot of these on my channel. If you could mention that maybe in the description, YouTube channel. Absolutely. This, I have it's an exact video. On this. Perfect. It's exact video on this. There's about five or six different things you use to work out if a coin's done if it's completely done and dusted. And most of that is based on the chart, actually, not socials. Now, we don't have a lot of time, but I want to get you one more question in, which is everything you told me seems like could be automated through a bot. Why do you trade it yourself? Why isn't there a bot that I can just program to do these characteristics and just simply get buy and sell? I'm sure people are playing around with bots. And it's funny you mentioned that. You know why it's funny? There are actually, uh, you, so you've heard about all of the AI meme coins. We're <laughs> a step above that now. You have AI agents, but hold on. We're a step above that now. There are AI agents of AI agents training how to uh, trade automated. And that's already live and it's happening. And at the moment, as far as I know, uh, the AI agents who are trading automated, none of them are in any kind of massive gains. But as soon as they are, this whole space will change forever. It's it's going to be crazy. But for now, um, it's still too difficult. You still have to manually look at a chart because not every chart's going to run exactly the same up and down. And this is the attention economy. The meme coins that run have more attention. How can you calculate exactly how much attention there'll be tomorrow in this coin compared to today? Don't know. Because you don't know what's going to happen in the world tomorrow. <laughs> and it's an ever-changing environment. Shout out to you, true, true. Appreciate you. Guys, there is a link in the description. We're going to put your YouTube as well and your X account. Thank you so much for coming on. I uh, truly appreciate the discussion and the knowledge. And I hope to see you on another show as well. Of course, yeah. Hope to see you there very soon. Thanks, Pefe. And guys, if you have enjoyed the show, make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you want to suggest back, if you want more of these meme alpha. Let me also know what you really want to know about memes, how we can help you more. Make sure to follow me on X. There is a link in the description to everything. And also make sure to check out Shadja's channel and his X profile. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate you. And I believe I'll see you in the next one. Take care.